Stuff, aka right in Gubeni. You know what it is, baby. I'm holding it down for Injaya Muhausa, who's just left to go and hustle overseas. Jaya Muvaya Grand. Don't worry, I'm holding it down. Now, down to business. You know how we do it right here, Buffet 2. SAPC1, your number one channel, Mzansi for show. Big up is where you at. Senza Zonki Zito Senza Gar. Let's do this. Okay, right, Buffet 2. Fanak Serena Nobanele, Injaya Miasekasi. And what he's doing is amazing. Banele is part of an outreach. He's actually part of Iskela. Esibiza Umbuisa School of Arts and Culture. Based on Ayekasi, founded by Upratepa. We'll tell you more about him later. But basically, Lentole by Chunai Bafetu is so amazing. They get in after school and make sure Utiba Kipta Pizing isn't to art. They take them through the whole basics and everything. Uba Kipta Maskin. Kuluma is this fan analysis. Young John. A little bit of something like this. So now we're saying big up. Banele, the best way we know how. Music video style, baby. Oh, the setting up that side. Let's go find out about Banele. View! Big up, big up, big up! Historically, I Orlando Soweto has been known for being the home of most of South Africa's political milestones. But for now, it's also a prominent hub for vibrant local visual art, a passion that grasped Orlando West-born Banele Kambule very early in his life. When I was still young in primary school, I used to be like, Whatever I can find, then I'm objects now. Then I want as in, who arts? You can do anything basically. Anything that exists is enjoy art, like art, designer. Then from there, what as in? I'm gonna push the skill to say art. I'm trying to can get somewhere in life. I'm told. But Banela's family weren't too convinced of his career choice and thought it was just a pastime and not something that could seriously sustain him in the long run. Okay, I ended. They thought, hey, doing art, they're taking some picture, like selling pretty pictures to decorate and stuff like that. I want. And then I explained to them, no, nah, man, art is beyond that. It's design. Actually, like from a car to architecture to your t shirt to anything you see around you. Around, like basically, and I don't know how I can explain it, but in the corner, they understood when we explain it the business side of art because automatically when you tell a bunch to find by artists, but going to find a villa or panda, just people to paint, but there's more into it, you know? There's commercial arts. When I, ask, when I explain commercial arts, how companies, big companies actually survive through commercial arts like advertising, like interior design, like architecture. When I put that picture into perspective, that's when but as in my push and told you, so long to have a story Sam. Once Banele had won over his family, he was able to further his education at the National School of the Arts. He became a top-notch artist and designer, well respected in his community. And seeing the many blessings art had brought into his life, he knew what he had to share the gift with those around him. And then from there, after getting knowledge in art, I was like, I'm going to sing about it. I'm acting to a corner. I was soccer, I was going to start it. Then I, I saw the potential in the early youth class. And so then that's when I got to the table. I got to the table. I got to dance with Uncle Tom's own. And I was like, I would like to contribute and just showcase the like the importance of art or in the art that I'm going to do with we showed them different mediums with art, and so on. And then, so like what we said, that we just a gallery, a museum, just about to be exposed to things that in this world of art, because the corner is a bit broad. So, by what we said, we can take them somewhere, and so on. And then from there, we start inviting different artists from Ekasi, and basically, as much, we try to bring as many people as possible to share their experience with art. Whoa. That's when people start to take it seriously. As the number of children grew, Banele and Tepo knew they had to take this movement to the next level. So they formed the Umbuisa School of Arts and Culture, named after Mbuise Makubo, the young man who carried Hector Peterson during the 1976 uprising. 
Oh, we started the Umbuisa School of Arts and Culture 2002 and informally just teaching Bana and then we formally registered 2004. And uh, we saw the need, you know, in our community where we should open up uh, an art school like this one because no sooner the art school no cars, you know, and we realized that there's a lot of talented kids out there who need to nourish their talent. So no sooner play like a improve on skills about nothing and whatnot. And we realized that oh, there's so much crime on the other hand, Kids by idly, la, there's nothing that they're doing, you know, to get productive or to get creative. When they come here between um, two, uh, three o'clock about to school long till five. So during the two hours, eh, uh, we get to do visual art. Visual art meaning we paint, we draw, uh, we do print making. Like as you can see, this T-shirt here, it's done from here. We teach them how to print. We do crafts, like which is the bead works, the beads. And we also do poetry, Nalbasham poetry. We have those who sing at the same time. So it's, 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 it's an art school, so it encompasses all disciplines to art, you know. You find that a child might exp express himself through art and as Kazi said, a person you to feel And at the same time, the parents started to support us, Ramton, whereby you might find that one of my problems is school way. Now you can identify Roba is in a is in a family or in a, a youth club. I'm told. Then you, now you can focus on dealing with whatever challenges the particular individual child has. That's how I'm not gonna it touched us and the parents and the children themselves. Because now give them a platform to actually communicate how they feel and it made us understand them on a personal level. My vision for the youth or the children is is for them to have to understand their creative ability, you know? Being able to do stuff logically and creative, creatively, you know? To tap into that creative side of the, of the brain type setup. I, want, I would like for the youth to just basically to be skilled in different mediums. And I think art can expose you to those mediums. Not only painting, but there's many things that art can expose you to. Big up, big up! I must say, I'm very much inspired by Ubanel. 100% boy, big ups to that. We're going to take a quick ad break. Because we're going to reveal who is going to be on our set. Artist of this week's episode. Via Bafetu. Sasa we are learning about fair to right staff for Konalana. We big up. Thank you very much for chilling with us. You know how we do it here, making sure that everybody knows about the young people who are making a change in their communities. So Sila Hector Peterson Museum Manje, I'll tell you what we're doing here. But first things first, the 20 hours of the video is about to start. We met you Banele before the break. Now it's time for us to meet our artists. Let's do this. Big up, big up. Kelly Kumalo Bafetu, hailing from the streets of Ungu to KZN, began her rise to stardom at the age of 19 when she entered a gospel search competition in 2003. Although she didn't win, her talent was undeniable and her debut album TKO soon followed. The album received two Summer Award nominations and the hit song Trinisela dominated the radio charts for months. Four highly successful albums soon followed, and this year she received the Summer Award for the Best Female Artist of the Year. She's now here to salute the amazing work done by Ubanele and Tsepo, music video style, big up style, with the track I Live For Love. So, 20 hours of the music video starts round about now. Big up, big up! Well, without wasting any time, the 20 hours of the music video is officially started. I just want to with you, come back. Big up, big up, big up. Hector in Museum, gotta keep it down, know what I'm talking about. Spetu O's at a chef, setting up the set for Kelly Kumar. How's it going? Why Hector Peterson Museum? And I mean, there's a story about you know, and the school. So it's got a, you know, even the name of the school, one Mbui say art school. So it's got a lot of political. You want to history at the corner there. from the uprising and everything. So I felt like this is, I mean, what better place than the Hector Peterson, you know, memorial? And we are. 
absolutely very, very lucky in Ghana to even I know, we are, be we, shooting we, we here. So very, people, that's why I said we gotta keep first it time ever on Big Up. It's never been done before. So I guys, we come on, come on, I Plumeno Sis Kelly, how you doing? Eh? Same with Sis Kelly, where? Mm, Sis Kelly. <laughs> I'm going to play with you, Sis. Sis Kelly, who's lecture pieces museum, who's pictures of us, who's always into ego, who's been to the school a long way. How you doing? I'm very good, and you? Fresh man. I'm good. Okay, before wasting your time, your boy Omen is ready for you there on set. Yeah. Um, tell us about the track. Um, but first things first, we know we're here to say big up to Ubanele and Otepo, yes. Skela Sabo, um, Mbuyisa School of Arts and Culture. Yeah. So how is your track and um and initiative ends are Abole and Abobanele coming? Together. The song is called I Live for Love and uh, and I think Abantuana Lab Ababa Kotila Buti Bazo Ababa Fundisi art. They live for the love of the art. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So slang and love Buti, we all live for something. I live for music, for the yeah. love of the music. Yeah. They live for the love of the art. This is where we all come together. We have mm -hmm. we live for love of something that we love. You know? So I would like to say big up to Banelo and Notepo. I mean, there's a lot that's happening. But But decided you know what? Instead of these kids who is wrong, but end up with a it is finding something to look forward to, something to spend their time on, something to inspire them so that they can be better people. So I'd like to say big up to them. Big up, big up. Kirat Bafitsu, as you can see, it's a wrap. Like Hector Peterson, first scene in the can. Savaya, no changing location. I don't know what to Oza. Oh, plenty will be mysterious. Oza, the show. Oh. Okay. No. So good, you know, I like to do, you know, get my hands on a little bit of everything, you know, camera, all of that, you know. Let's go to the next scene. Big up, big up, big up. How this is a good to Kelly in Oza, but Patelli. Because you know, 20 hours of the music video waits for no man. Basically, to Australia, which basically, um, which basically, Miss uh, uh, Kumalo, the teacher, Barati, and Omen, the chef, our director. Can yes. you please talk us through the whole process, my friend? Uh, Kelly is showing us a very loving side, a very professional, academic side. No, I mean she's a professional <laughs> woman, you know, but she's here to unwind with the, yeah. the little ones, you know. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, as a role model, as somebody that's, you know, basically, you know, encouraging the level. So now I was a weapon, and I was born born in Tabazanza, and her interacting with them, just spreading that love. But niggas are my A plus. How do you feel? How do you feel about the scene? What's what's I'm, your take? I love kids. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, they are so adorable. And I can't wait to roll up my sleeve <laughs> and get my hands dirty because they're gonna teach me how to do all of this. They call it art. Mm. This is art, actually. Mm -hmm. Lovely stuff. Let's get love, because we want about love. You guys can do your thing. Perfect. Now, Linda, I'm still in the classroom. I'm going to go and get my paintbrush. Now I'm in this bush somewhere, young child. <laughs> no detention Hello. today, eh? For you, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and action! Just take us through the process, my chance. Owiti, what inspired you guys to do such an awesome, awesome, awesome movement? Yeah, well, actually, what inspired uh, me personally was the um, fact that uh, we realized with Tabanto and Nikasi, there was no art school. Mm -hmm. And we realized also, Owiti, not everyone is an academic mm -hmm. or could work in corporate, mm -hmm. you know? And so, yeah, that's how we basically thought of you know, coming up with such a initiative, yeah. For sure. Um, to tap into like the creative ability, you know what I'm saying? Whereby um, everyone has a creative ability whereby mm -hmm. they can express themselves. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. art is like a healing tool or a method, a medium of expression, basically, nice. you know? Yeah. So basically, and it opens like imagination to... Opens a whole new different world. Yeah, and basically that's what inspired me. Use it as a healing tool and 
you get to know different skills, you can actually identify the, the children's mm. potential, mm. Different, mm. different areas in their life. How, how do you guys feel about the video? Basically, um, the video actually, actually links with the arts, basically. Yeah. Because we're dealing with the art, and maybe yeah. the children are going to get like, inspired, yeah. you know, to like... Yeah. Celebrity is just supporting what we're doing, yeah. and you can also get that far, you know. For and sure. sharing it with the world, you really appreciate it. So big up, yeah. Big up, big up, big up. And that is a wrap. Well, that's uh, everybody's favorite word. It's a wrap. As you heard, Papetu, Yonki into a sex song. And were you happy? I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. happy now with your shots. Ghana, and it, you know, it was one of those spontaneous, but obviously beautiful shots. You know, and I'm very you know, excited to see what I'm gonna come up with. You know, I'm gonna, you know, what in those mangas? Those mangas. You're going to amaze yourself. Sure, sure. Show sure, of it and you the director's happy. <laughs> so it's time for us to check out the music video, but before that, let's pay the bills. I Live For Love is the name of the track and it's hot. I bet you think so too. Buffett, Nigren. Awesome. Nah. Sister, are you okay? <laughs> I know it's been a long day. It's been a very long day, but a beautiful day with this beautiful soul. Lovely, lovely yes. stuff. Okay, cool. Um, how do you feel? How do you feel now that the job is done? Do you feel that you've accomplished something? I feel the love, man. I feel sure. the love, yeah. Sure. You live for the love, yeah. Nice, yeah. Son, nice, yeah. Son, nice. Yeah. Son. How do you feel, Matagi? Um, I feel so grateful, man. And I'm really grateful to Big Up. And I'm, I'm really happy for the kids. It's such a, such a great day, I must say. Nice one. Miss Kills. Yeah. Let me know, how was, how was this shoot? I'm sure it was a bit different because the woman threw, uh, threw in a little bit of some, you know, unexpected yeah, surprises yeah. there. But... There's a lot of surprises. I'm not complaining mm. though. I mean, I, I mean, I've been in the industry for a while, so I know that it's not a planner, but yeah. in the shoot, when you get to lose on set, yeah. there's a lot of surprises. Exactly. And I love surprises. And it, this is a beautiful surprise. I love it. No, we're actually surprised. Like, I've, I've never seen you, like, anywhere on TV with like corporate looking all. Yeah. You're a teacher, like you're playing a teacher. She's playing a school teacher. <laughs> Hello, kids. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. yeah. Are you living for love? Yes. Good. Well then, it's when I can have a fit to everybody who's happy and living for love. My job is done here. Big up to everybody. Big up, my gang. Big up, Skills, for coming through. Big up, kids. And big up to you at home for watching the show. So, Ninga Kosh, I'm afraid to go to next week. Same time, same place. You know what it is. Mzansi for sure. SAPC One, baby. The moment we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for I Live for Love, the music video. Big up!
Big up, big up, big up. If you are inspired by our local hero this week, then stand up as well and volunteer your time and skill to make a difference, Simsans. These are contact details of organizations that could really use your help as a volunteer. Call them and make Mzansi a better place. If you are currently a volunteer or a community builder at Kaslako, or know someone who is, we'd like to say big up to you too on this show by featuring you or the person you nominate as our local hero. So go on and send us a short profile of yourself or the person you want to nominate to big up at eclipstv.co.za. You can also contact us via post to private bag x1025 at Randberg2125. If you or your nominee are selected to be featured on the show, so team Tamzala Songa Kotuk Shipela Big up, big up!